6D is the Advanced Disposal Services Residential Solid Waste Franchise Review. Mr. Beal. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, uh, Commissioner, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, my apologies. As we spoke uh, yesterday, our current uh, solid waste franchises are set to expire at the end of this particular month. Advanced Disposal has submitted their application and have expressed their desire to renew their solid waste franchise. Advanced Disposal currently uh, service, services about 9,500 households and charges $18.50 per month for that particular service. They're interested in continuing with us and providing that service to our unincorporated residents. But Any questions for Mr. Beams? I have a question that came up in the work session. I apologize that I really hadn't failed to get it, get it resolved, but the question came up about the request as well to increase the top amount which was addressed that it would have to be done through an ordinance change, which that would have to take place at another meeting, another agenda, correct? So really all you're approving at this point is the agreement at the set rate that we currently have. Yes, we want to focus on the typical um, franchise renewal at this time, and then we'll take up looking at the ordinances and making adjustments with further conversations with the vendors down the road with the county attorney and the county manager. Good. I just want everybody to be sure that we weren't, based on the discussion that we had at the work session, that you were not also approving an increase in the rate. So will we have to read? The, the, you'll have to revisit the ordinance itself, which stipulates what the top rate is. You'll have to, if you decide to do that, you'll have to revise the contract. Not the contracts. The contracts are just the franchise agreement. Well, the top rate is set for the Again, in the actual franchise itself. So, so we're our, approving the franchise tonight. Yeah, our, our standard franchise was the twenty dollar limit to be charged per household. Okay. Is there any specific time frame we have to do this by? None has been requested at this particular time. The assumption is is that you know if we get into April and May to sit down and have those further discussions, not only with Advance but with Deep South. Um, see what their concerns are, where we're at. I know one of them you know, mentioned about labor costs as well as fuel and inflation. Uh, the other was focused mainly on the actual fuel cost. So maybe it's, when we look at a possible fuel sur surcharge or something of that nature that would fluctuate based on certain circumstances. And most likely, I would suggest that probably what would drive the request to start with would be a, in the form of a formal request from the franchise folks that you know they would like to revisit the orders from the standpoint of what the top amount is at this point and then that would proceed staff moving toward that to have those discussions and it would come in as an agenda item. I just want to be sure we weren't that all you're doing is approving the franchise agreement as it as it's been presented now. I'm sorry, I don't mean to belabor it, but 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 this what we what we're doing now locks them in at eighteen dollars or a maximum Dollars for the rest of the year. Until we change it. Until we change it. Until you change the order. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Gary Dunn, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, we approve the advanced disposal contract. Okay, we have a motion to approve the advanced disposal services franchise agreement. We have a second. Second. We have a couple of seconds. We'll take this second right here. But Ms. Evans, uh, any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries.